actually a pretty recent piece in my collection. Actually, no, I bought this in 2019. <laughs> hey there, my handsome and pretty little cobras, and welcome back to the Cobra's Nest. For those of you who are new, my name is Mignon Cobra, and I make minimalism videos. So today's minimalism video is going to be another declutter. I have a couple pieces that were kind of like my maybe pile, so that's why today's video is decluttering my maybe pile. So I kind of wanted to share with you guys that thought process in case you were curious how I deal with maybe pile items. So without further ado, let's just get to the video. Let's get it. Let's go. Boo. It's a really small pile, but I thought that this might help anybody else out who's on their minimalism journey. So, okay, so these are a lot of maybe pieces that are like my style and my aesthetic, but like for one reason or another, they hit the maybe pile, but I've realized that like, honestly, what's in the maybe pile, there's a reason why it's in the maybe pile. So I have this shirt. It's this really cute little crop top that I cropped myself. I stitched it, everything is great, I love it. The only reason why I have it in the maybe pile is because one, it's really worn out, so that's why I tried to upcycle it, and I made it a crop top. And then in addition to that, I cropped this one way too short. So it is really like a little bralette almost, like it really just covers my chest. I don't know if you guys can see, like it goes like right under my chest, which is like, it's like not a bralette, but it's kind of a shirt, but not really a shirt and I don't like wearing it And I've given myself full permission in my refining era of 2024 that any piece like I have such an abundance of clothes for anybody who's watched my Closet tour. I have way too many clothes and so because of that there will never be a day where I feel like wearing this and because of that I can finally let it go. Maybe somebody else can enjoy this crop top, but it's just it's not where I'm at right now It's I have way too many other things. I'd rather wear. I'm not gonna wear a worn out shirt that I've upcycled and now is like not even a proper bralette. So thank you. Next. The next one is a pair of champion sweats, which I think you guys have seen in a lot of my declutter videos. And I have mentioned that I hate this logo. I freaking hate it. Not because I don't like champion. I love champion. I still have a lot of champion items, but like there's something about this large logo that's just like so unrefined and just looks so like I'm still in high school, like I need to rep a logo because my self-esteem is not there, I don't know. Like I'm not hating on Champion and I'm not hating on big logos, there's a place and a time for it, but this this is just something that every time I put it on, like I, I feel like it lowers how I feel, like it lowers my vibe, it lowers my mood, I don't feel good when I wear it. I've definitely gotten a lot of wear out of it, you guys can see that it is super beat. I've definitely done the whole cost per wear ratio on this pair. The inner part um, where I sit all day because I wear these mostly for work. She's been well loved and I feel like I can finally let it go. I don't need to hang on to a pair of sweats that are like two things. One, massive logo that I just don't want to look at and two, it's this great colorway. Like a lot of these great colorways as I've mentioned, I don't like gray. I know that's like super taboo in the minimalism community. Gray is like the new black, like it's a flattering shade of color and gray is very pretty, hence why I have so much gray. But I've just realized with my own color palette, this is just like not it. Like I, it doesn't like, I don't know if it's like the contrast doesn't come out or like my features don't shine, but when I wear gray, I don't know if it's like with my complexion, like it doesn't look good. Like I actually look better in white, black, or beige, but not gray. So because of that, I'm just gonna let them go and move on with my life. I've been going back and forth with this pair for a really long time. And it's like, I kind of got to a point this year where I was like, what are you doing that? Like, just let it go, like just stop. Somebody else can enjoy this piece. So because of that, I'm like letting it go. It's still in pretty decent condition. Not like the greatest, but definitely not as beat as some of my other pieces. I've only had this piece for two years, which is like pretty good in terms of like, my history with clothes, like I'll wear stuff for like decades. So two years is pretty reasonable. I feel like instead of me torturing myself, I'm gonna let it go and let maybe a young boy enjoy these pair instead of like me torturing myself with this. Another, oh my gosh, I completely forgot I had this in my maybe pile. So I have another upcycled piece. So this is this oversized beige sweater that I usually wear to work. And while there isn't anything particularly wrong with it, it is actually a pretty recent piece in my collection. Actually, no, I bought this in 2019. <laughs> I've just gotten so used to wearing pieces for such a long time that anytime anything is just a couple years old, I'm like, oh, this is kind of new. 2019, that is not that new. I think that's what, 2019, 20, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I think it's five years old. This feels so fresh. I just, I never really wore it because this thing used to have like, like a hoodie and it was like really tight on my neck so it would come up to here and like I really didn't like to wear it so I decided to take matters into my own hands and I snipped off the hood so it became a little bit more like relaxed but the thing is because of the way like the fray like I just I cut it off the machine is at my mom's house so I didn't I haven't really had a chance to go and like 
sew this and like honestly i've been so busy with work i don't even have time to upcycle my clothes that is just like i've gotten to a place where it's like if it requires like upcycling or like a lot more work like if like a pair of scissors can't fix it like i i really have to move on because like i just i really don't have the time like it's just kind of where i'm at in my journey i'm not saying that like you shouldn't upcycle you shouldn't you know like hem stuff like i'm a big proponent for that i have a lot of pieces in my closet that have been upcycled and have been hemmed because i truly do believe in a frugal move in a sustainable move but currently like time wise like i just as of right now maybe later this might change but right now like i just i don't i don't have the time i don't have the energy like i'm really tired after work i also i don't have the space like i have a lot of clothes i don't have that extra space for these type of pieces in my life currently so because of that i've given myself full permission to let go of items that require like a lot of hemming require a lot of time require a lot of storage so because of that i i'm going to let it go i completely forgot about it which means i've already moved on from this piece which is which is really good because i, I actually have a lot of other things I would rather wear and I'd rather somebody else could enjoy that. So yeah, it is a really short video, it's a really small pile, but I just wanted to share that with you guys, what a maybe pile looks like. If for anyone who's curious, I usually don't, I have actually, this is actually my first maybe pile, like strictly dedicated maybe pile video, but I figured that might help somebody else out. Also because like, I feel like minimalism should be a slow process. Baby steps, you don't have to declutter everything in one go. I have made ruthless videos, but I've been doing this for 10 years now, so baby steps, don't pressure yourself, enjoy the process. If you need a maybe pile and you need a couple months to sit on it, sit on it. These have been sitting in this maybe pile for two months now. So I feel like mm, I'm like in a good place to let it go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mwah.